Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to root your Galaxy S6 on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. Alright, also this will also work on several models of the S6 Edge and also I think one model of Note 5. There may be more models of support in the future, but uh, this will work uh, right now as of this video. This will work for SMG 920F, uh, SMG 920FD. Uh, SMG 920L, K, S, all the Korean models. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go to About Phone. Make sure you have uh, Android 6.0 under Software Info. All right, I'm using an SMG 920F, which is an international model. Uh, what you're going to do is go ahead and hit on the build number a bunch of times until it says you're a developer. All right, go ahead and hit the back button. All right, if you go all the way back, you'll have option for developer options. Now, my phone doesn't have it, but some of the uh, phones have OEM unlocked. Make sure it's checked on if you have that option. It's usually like right around here. If you don't have it, um, don't worry about it. Also, make sure your encryption is turned off. Um, other than that, this will not erase anything. Also, this will uh, trip Knox, and you won't be able to use Samsung Pay. Uh, which is one of the flaws, uh, one of the downsides of rooting uh, because Samsung blocked it. But uh, if you're ready to root, let's go ahead and do this. Power off your uh, phone. All right, and we're going to go ahead and put it into download mode. So go ahead and hold down volume down, center home, and the power. All right, let go of all the buttons when you see the warning screen. Hit the volume up to put it into download mode. And then go ahead and use a micro USB uh, cable to connect it to your uh, computer. All right, make sure also don't use a USB hub, connect it directly to your computer, and also use the original cables. Uh, over the last last weekend, I was trying to root uh, my S6, and uh, I figured out uh, if you use like one of those charging cables, uh, cheap charging cables, sometimes they interfere. So use a Use the original Samsung cable and you should be good to go. And let's go to our computer. All right, there's going to be several files you need to download. Um, the first one is beta super su, blah, blah, dot zip. I'll have all the links to all these files. And also you, you'll need Odin for everybody. And also Samsung USB drivers if you've never installed Samsung USB drivers. And also SpaceX kernel. Uh, and also Twerp recovery. Uh, these you can get at uh, this site here. Man... Man IT's uh, Google Drive site. If you go here, you'll see different models. Currently, uh, let me go ahead and show you the models that are listed are SMG 920F, which is what I'm using, or if you're using an SMG 920FD, uh, SMG 920K, that's the Korean model, uh, SMG 920L, that's also Korean, that's also Korean, and also SMG 920F if you're using um, S if you're using an S6 Edge Plus. No, sorry, S6 Edge uh, for the SMG 920F, also Korean version of that, all of them. And then there's also an SMN 920C, uh, which is the only Note 5 model listed here right now. But by the time you see this, there may be more models listed, so it may actually work for all the different models. So go ahead and check this side. I'll have links to this. So let's say go ahead and choose SMG 920F. And there's going to be a bunch of files, uh, but what you'll need is uh, the tar file, this one here, the space kernel. All right, it will, the file will end in tar.md5. So go ahead and hit that button and download it. That's the kernel. And then go ahead and also download twerp uh, for your model for S6. Now with Marshmallow, do not use the twerp recovery on twerp site because it does not work. That's why I'm using the one by manht. By the way, this guy uh, is an XDA user. He created all these files for you guys, so don't forget to donate to him. I'll have the donate link in my YouTube description and also my site. All right, go ahead and download the twerp and space kernel. That's all you need. And if you go back to my download folder, you should have space kernel, twerp, also Samsung USB driver, uh, uh, beta super SU. All right, go ahead and double click on Odin 3 and unzip all the files. And you'll find a folder with all of these files. 
Also, I forgot to let you know that um, you'll need a Windows computer to do this, or you can use a VMware to run Windows on Mac or Linux. All right, um, go ahead and double click on Odin. And also you do need to use Odin v3.10 or higher. I'll have the links to this on my site. Uh, the first thing you wanna do, make sure the uh, this button is blue with a random com sign, com number. If you don't see that, that means you don't have the USB drivers installed. So go back to the download folder, uh, double click on Samsung USB drivers, run that and unplug and plug USB uh, cable to the phone and you'll see that. Once you see that, we're ready to go. Go ahead and choose AP, go to your download folder, go ahead and choose SpaceX kernel. All right, hit open. All right, go ahead and hit start button. And that will flash the new kernel, all right? Let your phone reboot and it should boot fine back into system. Now, if you end up in a boot loop or something, then um, something went wrong. You used the wrong kernel. Maybe you use the S6 Edge kernel for S6, or maybe you use the Note 5. Um, if that happens to you, double check and find the correct one. Repeat this process, flash the uh, correct kernel. Now, once this boots, we're gonna go ahead and power off again, and we're gonna put it back into download mode. Go ahead and take the cable out. Sometimes uh, if you don't, if you have the cable in, sometimes it won't enter the download mode. So once it completely powers off, hold down volume down, center home, and the power button. All right, let go of the ball, all the buttons, hit volume up, back in download mode, uh, connect it back to your computer. All right, once it's connected back, um, you'll see this blue calm highlighted sign. This time we're gonna go ahead and flash the twerp. All right, go ahead and hit open. All right, and hit start. And this will flash uh, twerp recovery that is compatible with Android 6.0 Marshmallow. All right, let it reboot. Let me go ahead and show you again. And it should all boot completely right. Um, one more thing we're going to do, once it boots, we're going to go ahead and simply copy over the SuperSU zip file, reboot into Torp Recovery, and boom shakalaka, we're pretty much done. So connect it back to your phone. All right, make sure you allow access to data. And we're going to go back here, go to our download folder, right there. Uh, do a right click, beta super SU, blah, blah, dot zip. Go to your Galaxy S6 or whatever phone you're using. Go to your phone, and you're gonna go ahead and paste it anywhere here. But I already copied it over, so I don't have to copy it over, but you should see a new file there. Once that's done, uh, everything else is pretty much straightforward. You do not need to be connected to your computer. So let me go ahead and change the camera angle and show you. All right guys, the rest of it is really simple. Go ahead and power off your phone. And we're gonna go ahead and put it into, uh, we're gonna go enter the Torb Recovery. And for those of you who've never used uh, Samsung phones, uh, this is how you do it. Volume up, center home, power, go and hold them all down until you see the logo. Let go of the power button, keep holding down volume up and the center home, and let go, and boom shakalaka. You should be in Torb Recovery. Uh, this is what you use to back up, restore, install ROMs, all that good stuff. All right, so what you're gonna do, go ahead and go to install, and go ahead and go to the Beta Super SU, select that, swipe to confirm flash, and that will pretty much root your phone. Now we also flash the kernel, uh, and when that's done, go ahead and reboot system. And uh, the reason why we flash the custom kernel, if you don't use a custom kernel that allows root, and you just try to install Super SU, you'll end up in a boot loop. So that's why we did all those processes. Um, with Marshmallow, we're actually kind of going back to days of ICS, Jelly Bean or something like that. Um, if it hangs, hold down uh, power and the volume until it resets, and then that will reset your phone manually. And once it's rebooted, you should have full root uh, on Marshmallow. And this base kernel also gets rid of NOx and all those security uh, BS, so it'll make it faster also fixes deep issue of those, sorry, deep sleep bug. So your phone will be able to deep sleep. 
All right, and let's go ahead and log in. Ah. And go into your app drawer, you should see Super SU and Boom Shakalaka. If you don't get any errors, uh, you're fully rooted. And let me go ahead and download a Titanium Backup app or any rooted app to show you that it's fully rooted. All right, the first thing you should do now is go back into Torp Recovery like I showed you with the keys and back up your ROM. And um, the directory is called Torp Directory. So copy that whole folder into somewhere safe, like uh, you can use a USB OTG cable, copy it onto your hard disk. Then you'll have a hard copy of everything, like all your apps, whatever's in there. Uh, it won't, it won't uh, back up contents of your stuff. That you'll have to just copy, uh, hard copy it. And boom shakalaka. You'll see that it's fully rooted. Um, that's pretty much it. And for those of you who's still waiting for Marshmallow, um, you can use Odin and stock firmware. And I'm actually just grabbed this uh, Galaxy S6. This is a SMG920F because uh, I was waiting forever on my T-Mobile and it was not coming. I was like, screw this. And plus, I know a lot of you have the international version and I want to make some ROM videos with the international version. Um, So just grab uh, any country. This was actually like a Saudi Arabian one. So I just installed some Saudi Arabian country. But they're pretty much compatible. Just find a stock firmware that's similar to your country um, and just flash the latest 6.0 Marshmallow. That's pretty much it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this should help you root. This is one of the root methods you can use to root your Galaxy S6, uh, Note 5, and also S6 Edge. Like I said, there will, there may be more models supported by the time you see this. Um, so check out a uh, man IT's uh, download on Google Drive. Um, and if there's and I think this is the easiest root method I've seen so far. But if I do see an easier method. I'll also post uh, new methods in the future. Um, that's pretty much it. I've got my Galaxy S7 coming. I should have an unboxing of the S7 Edge and S7 pretty soon this week. Stay tuned. And as always, I'll stay on Android.